Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So I've been making games since 2 years from now and I always wanted to make a fun game that everybody can enjoy. I've tried making some games before just to learn how games are made. And at this point of time, maybe I know how to make a good game. So we are going to make a multiplayer game that will be enjoyable and fun to play. And it is going to be a thief and police game. The idea is simple. There are going to be 5 thieves and 2 police. And there will be a small city with some houses where thieves have to steal the valuable items and escape from the city successfully. On the other hand, two police are the savior of the city where they have to catch and prevent the thieves from leaving the city. Now to escape from the police successfully, thieves can use their abilities such as hiding inside the house, locking door for some seconds, turning off the electricity, throwing objects to distract the police. But with all these abilities, thieves also comes with a major disadvantage that as much item they will carry, it will fill their inventory or backpack storage that will reduce their running speed. That means at the starting, police and thief will have the same running speed. But as thief steals more items, it will reduce their running speed and police can catch them more easily. And because of this mechanic, it will add more depth to our game and will force thieves to make strategies to escape from the police, such as stealing more valuable but less weighted items, not roaming in open areas otherwise they will be caught easily. On the other hand, those two police will also have their own abilities, such as installing cameras to catch the thieves, setting up the traps, etc. And the fun part of the game is that it is going to be a night environment because most robberies happen at night. Hope it makes sense. So to start the project, I wrote down all the mechanics of the game and created an Unreal Engine project. But wait, first we need a name for this game. So after thinking for days, I came up with a name. Thief Runs. I think the game name is matching the objective of the game itself because thieves have to run and escape from the city. So yeah, I think the game name is fine and an important thing I forgot to tell you guys that it is going to be a mobile game specifically for Android because I don't have a Mac machine and also because I have a potato PC with Nvidia GT710 which is the worst GPU to be honest so if the recording lags please forgive me guys it's not my fault Okay so to start the project first I have to make the prototype of the game which will contain all the basic mechanics, animations and design of the game. If you don't know what a prototype is, then let me tell you that it is a basic demo version of your game that helps you to get an idea how your game will look like. So the first thing I did is, I imported a grid material from the epic marketplace and designed a house for our prototype. So we are going to use this house to set up a basic gameplay and mechanics for our game. But now we need characters, which are thief and police in my game. So a month ago, I saw this locomotion project on the marketplace and it includes a lot of characters and animations. So I thought it would be a good start for the prototype of a game. So I downloaded the project so that I can use its character and animations in my game. And one of the reason why I want to use its animation in my game is because I want smooth animations for my characters and this project have some smooth animations set up already. But there's a little problem with this project that it is very complex and have performance heavy animations. As I'm making this game for mobile devices, it has to be optimized. So after understanding how these animations work together, I imported this character with some animations in my game like running animation, sprinting animation, and idle animation. I took the idle animation from the another project for now as I wasn't able to figure out how that idle animation works in the locomotion project. Then I set up a basic locomotion of the character in my game so that these animations can work together. And uh, this is how it looked initially. I know the gameplay is a bit laggy as I told you before I have a low spec PC but here you can see the animations are not looking so great as I am only using 3 animations and the character's running speed is also not syncing with the animations but was working fine for the basic moment of the character. But as we know, we have two types of character in the game, thief and police. So I changed the color of the upper body of the base character where white colored character is the thief and black colored character is the police. So now we can differentiate between thief and the police in this prototype. 
but now we have to work more on the animations of the character as it plays a very crucial role in improving the overall feel of the game. So I analyzed the locomotion project on how its animation works and I noticed something that smoothed these animations. So when the character starts to run, you can see initially it bends all the way down as it is exerting force to push itself forward. Then it gradually comes to its normal running position and when I watched carefully, they were blending these two animations to create this effect. So I also blended these two animations in my game and it was looking great. Also when I saw their idle animation, it was also working with a similar way. By blending these two animations, it was making this nice and smooth idle state. So after implementing these animations properly, I also imported the jumping animation and made it work anyhow. And I'm quite satisfied with all these animations as they are quite smooth and efficient for mobile devices. Although I haven't tested it on any mobile devices yet, but I can tell you they are optimized for mobile devices from my experience of making mobile games. Also, I managed to make these animations replicate to other players because it is going to be a multiplayer game. And I think this progress is enough for the first episode of this devlog. In the next episode, we are going to create stamina system, weight system, inventory system and many more if you guys want to help me to complete this game you can donate me on the paypal i will be happy to give you credits at the end of this devlog videos as well as inside the game when it will be released my paypal link is in the description below also you can join my discord server where the developers and players can interact together and i also stay active there so you can find all the links in the description till then see you bye bye